Hello, this is Noreen Crone Findlay from CroneFindlay.com and ToddyTalksCrafts.com. I am doing a uh, just a few little videos showing projects that are in my new Peg Looms and Weaving Sticks book. And I'm, I've asked Patient Zilla, my wonderful cardboard mannequin, if she would please model for us today. And so she very patiently and quietly and flatly said yes, she would do that. So here's Patient Zilla wearing the, what I call the mandala vest, because it is a circle. And the way it's made, just spin Patient Zilla forward here. You can see the back of the vest is woven in the central panel and then the sides and front are woven in two other panels that curve around and those templates are given in the book and the technique of this pretty nifty way of doing the the uh, shaping of the, the circular weaving is also shown in the book. I worked really hard to figure out neat techniques. And I love the way the shawl collar drapes around. Now, on Patient Zilla, because she is flat and slender, uh, it folds over quite far in front. Now, this mm, uh, vest is for a sort of medium size and uh, small it does you do cross it over more in front for a larger uh, fuller figure then I explain how to make the vest larger as well so there's the vest and uh, I'll show you more about the hats next These are some of the hats that I designed and made for the Pig Loom and Weaving Sticks book. And this one is not in the book. These three are. And at least I think they all are. I can't remember. I don't have my copy of the book here yet. And so I'm just thinking, I know for sure that this one is. Now this one, uh, these are all pillbox style hats. This one has a heart pin on it with B. Uh, charm on it. The heart is a shape that I figured out how to weave on weaving sticks. Better to do them on weaving sticks than on the peg loom because you need your uh, sticks held right close together which works best for uh, weaving sticks rather than the peg loom because the peg loom has separation. And this one is definitely in the book. And this, the sides of this one use uh, geometric motifs. Very easy to work. And this is a very simple one oh, with a thread on it. Oops. And again, using very simple geometric motifs and lucid cord. The one that I made for my husband, I made using uh, we the metal weaving sticks that I got from Digrad or Degrad in England. And they uh, give a finer set to the weave and I embroidered the top section of the hat after uh, it came off the loom and I had done all the finishing. And I wove this one in cotton and my husband literally lives in it. It's his crown, he just loves it. So the whole point of the designing for the book is for you to then be inspired to, like I did here, adapt the basic pattern that I have done and use the technique that I show to make something that is truly uniquely yours and one of a kind. So that's the hats. Let's go on to something else. Patient Zilla, my cardboard mannequin, is now modeling the um, Arctic shawl that I designed for the book. And it was woven on a 22-inch wide loom. If you don't have uh, that wide loom, then uh, because it's woven in panels, just make more panels. Now, the, 
it's woven with uh, Briggs and Little roving yarn and it's very thick and soft and fluffy and cozy. It's there we go. There we go. And I normally don't like fringes very much and I'm still not really sure if I'm totally sold on the fringe on this shawl. I might just weave it in yet. I'll think on that. So there's, there you go. People have been asking me for a long time, can you weave shawls on the peg loom? And the answer is, oh yes indeed you can. And here we go. Here's one with very simple circle and square motifs. More circular weaving on the peg loom. This time it's in a collar. Oh, and speaking of circles, the brooch is also woven in a circle. Now the collar, the circular collar, can be worn either with the plain uh, section, the closed section at the front, or here it is with the clasp at the back, or you can take and wear, you of course wouldn't wear the brooch on the back, but you can wear the opening at the front as well. So you can wear it like a Cleopatra collar or more like a collar collar. I'll show you another one of the collars as well. And here's another one of the woven collars uh, woven on the peg loom. And again, I have woven a round brooch and I wove that in plain white cotton and then painted it and added the beadwork. So here it is with the plain full uh, section at the front. And here we'll just pretend that this is, this is not her back, this is her front and I'll pull it this way to show you that the clasp can also be worn at the front. Whoops! Or completely undone. Let's pretend that didn't happen. There. Okay. Spin her back around. Wardrobe malfunction. There we go. Wardrobe malfunction. All is well. These are some of the brooches or pins that I made for the book. The heart ones that are woven uh, from a technique that I developed and is shared in the book. And here's a little a square also because I developed a way of weaving squares too. So yay. And they make wonderful um, brooches and pins and you can put uh, hair clips on the back of them and wear them in your hair or uh, sew them onto uh, other things as embellishments. They all they work great for that. So wearables, woven on peglums and weaving sticks. Well, actually, these ones are all woven on weaving sticks, so that you get the closer set. But they all work beautifully as uh, pins and hair things. Now, my wonderfully alien-looking hat stand is modeling the headband for us. Now the headband can also be worn here. I'll show you the back of her rather empty head. And the headband also works well as a small scarflet or cowl. Either way works great for that. So your weaving sticks and peg looms can keep you very warm in the winter. Lots of wearables to be woven on weaving sticks and peg looms. And these patterns are all in my new book, Peg Looms and Weaving Sticks. So I hope you enjoy it and happy weaving.